All right, I'm Colleen. I'm at the grandma retreat, travel grandma retreat, and um, I'm doing this video because I like the way that my van looks, but there's a lot of dysfunctional things in it, and so Jan's Butterfly Tracks suggested that um, we take a video of the before and after, so we're going to go through it and see why it's not functional, you know, what's not working right, but also there are some really good points. There's some good things in it. This is a 2017 Toyota Sienna. This is a uh, this is a bench that I've had in my house for some time. This is where I put all my toiletries. This is my tea and coffee bar, and um, I got this at uh, I got them both at Home Goods. This, I used the sticky pads to keep it on, and it made it all the way from Florida to Colorado without a problem. And then this is a bread box, um, but it's perfect for all my toiletries that I need every single day. Spices, um, and, you know, and the hand soap, uh, dishwashing soap and vinegar. So all of this works, this part of it works. Um, my water jug is over here. Five or six gallon. Sienna has that little groove, and so that's the reason that I chose that spot. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the way I have it right now is making it difficult because, you know, that's as close as I can get unless I move everything around and move my toilet over to get to the sink. <laughs> So this is just a salad bowl that I got at Walmart on clearance, and then I have it stuck with sticky tape, or the sticky pads, mm -hmm. um, and then this is the, you know, the typical, the water thing. Oh, nice. And it's nice as I can put, when I'm traveling, I can put my bananas and apples. So they don't slide around. Yeah, exactly. So what doesn't work? Today I had to help um, another camper get her car started, and down underneath all of that is where the, um, the battery charger thing is, along with all of my tools. Because another thing was I wanted to get some tools out and start working on this, and I actually can't get to the tools. These I put a couple of pieces of wood in here, um, and then underneath there are bins like this that have like the tools and all that stuff. We did not do any kind of actual build other than putting um, little boxes together for the bed. You know, I can use it for prep, food prep, for, you know, putting, I have a little electric burner that I put up here because I don't like using the butane inside. The three biggest problems is not being able to get to the sink, but this is the perfect place for the water. So it makes it difficult. The, my bigger jackery, I have a thousand watt jackery that's underneath here and you can't get to it. Um, so we did, I think my son did it. He plugged this in and brought it up so that at least I can use um, any 110 things because you can't get to the jackery the way it is. The bed itself, the frame underneath is 24 inches and my mattress is 26 inches. Oh. Um, so another problem that I'm having is I had a uh, knee replacement four months ago the le of the right knee. The left knee is now arguing a lot with me because it doesn't like this low bed. I made it low because the first time I went out, the bed was so high that I had to sit like this mm -hmm. and there was no way to sit. And then I tried something else and that wiggled a lot. Um, the other problem is in the Sienna, you still have the rails when you take the second right, row of, of seats out. And so the bed has to fit very specifically over mm -hmm. those rails. Mm -hmm. My son took out this rail, which made an unbelievably huge difference. Um, but they're really hard to take out and I'm not sure how well they're gonna go back in. And I, you know, I, this is my only vehicle. I cheated and used um, fabric glue because oh. mm -hmm. I'm not a good sewer. Yeah. That's so, nice to know you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, now tell me your system of of, of uh, putting these curtains up in because people want to know that too okay, if they're so, doing a build. So these are just um, bungee cords, the flat bungee cords I found work better. Yeah, let me, then, let me see if I can yeah. show that. Okay. Flat yeah. rather than a round. Yeah. Well, I didn't show that very well. A flat one rather than a round. Well, um, it won't roll as much, is that it? Yeah, when I had them on the round one, it tended to, it did tend to roll and um, it was, because that, that's what I did at first. Mm -hmm. And um, and they moved more. For some reason with these flat ones, once I put them in place, they pretty much stay. Oh, good deal. The other All thing right. that I do that I like, whoops, is um, I made the curtains. Well, I didn't make these curtains. These are Walmart curtains. They're blackout curtains. Mm -hmm. And so I put a second row on that. So and that's that, the same kind of bungee. Yep, same kind of bungee. You can see my good sewing job. What I like is this way when I'm someplace like we are here and I want to breeze at night, you know, the Reflectix blocks it. But mm -hmm. this way I can open the windows, have this. I still don't have the sun in my eyes in the morning. And um, and it gives it's completely private. Yeah. So, yeah. so for stealth 
would you put the the white behind the yeah, black? Yes, yeah. When I was stopping overnight mm -hmm. on the way here, I put the white on the other side. The the bungees are just hooked onto the front grab bar. The flat ones come like this. You see this? And then I I hook it over. You see this little hook right there? Let me see if I can. Over that. I've got it hooked up. And then you can also see over there. So then I take it all the way to the back uh, grab bar. So it's from the very front one to the very back one. And that, that way everything is covered. Yeah, so that is simply a um, Let me show that curtain or... rod. So I took, you know, there's a uh, headliner right here. I just tucked it into that. Where the top, the post meets the headliner. Yeah. So I made, um, I wanted it to match my car. Mm -hmm. So I put, uh, this is just stick on wallpaper. Mm -hmm. um, and then it kept on coming apart. So I just put the blue tape around it. And then the other side is the, the flat black. Right. Uh, no, I don't know if it's wallpaper or if it is contact it paper. Contact. And then I, I have these, um, they're not the right size, even though they were supposed to be over it because um, this way I can just pull the reflectix down when I have the, if I need to, because the sun comes in this way in the morning. So I keep this up so that I don't die from the sunlight. Yeah. But you know, you can pull it down with a net on it. It'll actually stay down. So my refrigerator decided to quit the second day on the road and um, I'm now using it as a cooler, so good tip. You can put the ice in them if you're because it's completely self-contained. I, I wasn't yeah. sure. I took everything out and I looked around and it is there, there's no motors, there's no battery, there's nothing inside. So since the second day, and I think now it's like day seven or something, it's, I've just been putting ice in it every day and it acts like a Yeti. Like the ice lasts for two or three days. That's so nice. It's really nice. But because of that, I went yesterday and bought this little cooler at Walmart so that I can have my drinks that I, you know, that it doesn't matter, so that I'm not constantly opening that where the food is. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's hobbled together. There's a little bit of duct tape involved and some Gorilla Glue. Um, not completely even, but, but you know, it's the best, best I can do for now. But it feels solid, see? I don't think it'll go anywhere. I had all of these cut at Lowe's, which, is, which, which was really nice. So these are 22 inch and this, those are 35 inch, so that I can make um, 70 inches actually I think I made them yeah it's 35 and uh, 22 I think I might have used a bit too much duct tape but oh, I can never have too much duct tape. <laughs> well, that's what I think too. you know I, I was in Alaska and I had a bush pilot say nobody goes anywhere in Alaska including the pilots without duct tape because they will actually duct tape the wings back on so I figure if you can duct tape a wing back on I can duct tape my bed back together for sure yeah this made it a little bit higher you can see on this side I use a two by something, two by six, I think. How much did you raise it, do you think? About two inches. Two inches. Inch two inches, which probably isn't enough, but that's okay. But because of how I had to move it, um, I have more storage space right here now. I can store the uh, gas grill here if I wanted to when I'm driving. I figure that as time goes on, we'll get rid of a lot of the water, and then I can you know, also store up there. So that's all water up there. All right, so I keep I, I put my curtain over the snack bag because it keeps it cooler. And nice. It's an insulated thermal one. Mm -hmm. And also it just kind of keeps all this stuff out of sight, the things that I need to get to all the time. Right, a, a backseat organizer you have over the front because you can get to it easier, mm -hmm. right? And you have water down here. Water's down there. This is a, a picnic blanket. I have it here to try to keep the water from getting too hot. Mm -hmm. This is a tray just, uh, you know, that I bought in Japan several years ago. Um, oh, pretty. That I can use to put stuff on while I'm driving and I can use it to eat when I just sit in my car. Our toilet went here now and there's a uh, space there of course. So what I discovered this morning was great that I could almost stand up in this spot. Now I have my towels out. I have them under the bed. I have a place to put them. So that's all towels. Dirty clothes are under there. Okay. Dirty clothes basket. So the things that just need to be tucked away, it's perfect. I underneath the toilet right now is my um, my I call it my medical kit. It has the blood pressure cuff and all that kind of stuff in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I haven't broken it. Um, but what I want to do is make a little just a little stand or a drawer or something, you know, later so that 
it doesn't crush it. What, what, what influenced your choice of these kind of bins that, that bend? I, when I was, um, you, when I first got them, I had an idea that I was going to put a rod across the side of, on each side and run the rod through it. And so I wanted something flexible. Mm -hmm. um, but when I actually tried to do that, it took, it, you know, like on the bedside, took up all the headroom and I kept running into it. And, but then I realized that it works really well. It was working really well for those things because you can squish them and fit them in a lot of places. These were not, these are all my clothes and they were not, uh, they were just in these things. So now I have shirts and pants and under things and pajamas. So, had some wood that I used for something else. I don't know what. Put it here to make a little shelf. Good deal. This is now dry storage. It was the refrigerator, but what I really noticed. First of all, I'm not. I haven't been eating that much, but I can still open it. Wow. And yeah. get to it. Um, the Jackery. You know, I couldn't get to it before. What now size Jackery? This is a thousand watt. Okay. And then I have a five hundred watt that I use for other things. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, what you? How you put the reflectix in? That you might want to talk about that. Oh, okay. So the reflectors are permanently in, and then I pulled the, the little screens up over them. I had to cut a spot at the top for where the screens go, mm -hmm. where the tabs are. And now I use it for storage for, like, I have a, a mandala coloring book and stuff like that. And it stays. I just sat there and washed my face, and, mm -hmm. you know, and then I rinsed them a cup, and it was like, oh, this is so much easier than doing all the contortions that it took before. And then this is where I had the uh, water before. Because it's that nice little alcove. So my, now I have my first aid kit is under there. My actual first aid kit. Uh -huh. And then this is a medicine thing. So on both of those, I put them in um, uh, relatively inexpensive coolers. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want medicines to get hot. You don't want your first aid stuff to get hot. Mm -hmm. you know. But they fit right on top of each other, right there. I can still pull things out mm -hmm. and dig. Because I know what's in each one. Right, you know, that so helps. So I can reach back, yeah. And putting the toilet, this up here, the garbage can, I thought was going to be a little bit weird, but I didn't have any place else to put it, and it's turned out nice because it's perfect for by the toilet, and it's perfect for if I'm right there. Right. I mean, if you're living in it, in it, and of course there's rainy days where you're going to be in it, but, you know... It's cozy. It's cozy, and more likely you're outdoors. If you're camping, you're outdoors. Right. And, you, and well, something else I've done that... Um, I've had a couple of comments on this. I don't know if you can see it, but I have, there's two cup holders on each side. So on one cup holder, I have all of the uh, silverware and stuff that I have to reach. And the other cup holder is a cup with water. So if I don't want to push the button on my, um, my water pump, I have water in there all the time. It's, you know, if I want to like rinse my mouth or um, splash some water on my face, then I can do it right there. And to tell you the truth, the first time that I took a trip last um, November, I was stopping, first time I stopped was in a Mississippi rest stop. I was like, this isn't working. So here I've got everything <laughs> spread out at a, at a spot in a rest stop and put it all back in in a different way. Turned out that was worse. So then I get to Texas for a rest stop. And I'm like, oh, it's still not working. So I took it all apart again. Oh. Yep. Well, good. Well, thank you for showing us around. Looks like you have a wonderful setup now. I hope it lasts for you. I do too. <laughs> Thanks a lot.